This session is on the causes, consequences, distribution and frequency of tropical storms and drought. Tropical storms are weather systems with heavy rain and strong wind that spiral around the central eye of the storm. Drought is when we have a long period of time when we have rainfall below average in an area. So let's start with the distribution of tropical storms. Um, tropical storms blow to the west and they blow to the west because of the spin of the earth and then they veer off to the south in the southern hem hemisphere or veer off to the north in the northern hemisphere. We call these tropical storms hurricanes if they're found in the eastern Pacific and in the Atlantic Ocean around America. They're called cyclones if they're in the Indian Ocean and they're called typhoons if they're in the western Pacific. I seem to remember where hurricanes are and then I remember them alphabetically. C for cyclones and then T for typhoons. They're called tropical storms because they're between the Tropic of Cancer, which is up here, and the Tropic of Capricorn, here to the south of the equator. Causes of tropical storms? Well, they all start over warm tropical seas that are over 27 degrees centigrade. Because the sea is so warm, the air above it will uh, rise. And this rising air will leave a gap beneath it that sucks in um, wind from the trade winds. As the air rises, it cools and condenses, forming storm clouds. And then this cool air sinks in the center of the tropical storm to form the eye of the storm. The whole storm will spin, it will rotate because of the Coriolis effect. The consequences of tropical storms, there are many, we're just going to concentrate on three. The extreme wind speeds can go at over 250 kilometers per hour. You can get torrential rain that causes flooding and mudslides. And finally, we get storm surges. Now, storm surges bring waves with them that are over 10 or up to 10 meters in height and can flood the surrounding areas. The low air pressure helps to raise the level of the ocean. Frequency of tropical storms, we get about 80 per year around the world and they're most powerful um, in the Pacific Ocean. The typhoons are the most powerful. Um, there is evidence to show that the number of tropical storms has increased and that these tropical storms are getting more severe. However, scientists are in disagreement whether it's because of climate change or not. Some say that if the air gets warmer, there will be more oceans over 27 degrees centigrade, which will cause more tropical storms. Now on to drought. Um, every country in the whole world can experience drought. Don't forget it's a reduction in the normal amount of rainfall in an area. So an area that gets lots of rain can experience drought. Now areas where the drought severity is high, um, this is the equator and there's a band here 30 degrees north that has high severity of drought and 30 degrees to the south here. Now these are areas where the Hadley and Ferrell cells meet. You get sinking air, high pressure and that is the cause of drought. Which is what I was talking about. Um, long periods of high pressure, that is sinking air. This means that clouds don't form, we don't get torrential rain. So a long period of high pressure causes droughts. Also, El Nino and La Nina. El Nino can bring drought in Australia. La Nina can bring drought in South America. At the end of this video, you can follow the link. There's more information about El Nino and La Nina if you want it. Consequences of drought, here are three. Um, if water supplies become depleted, um, people will be short of water for drinking or washing or other uses. And um, people keep using the water, but it's not being topped up by rainfall. Uh, shortages of food occur if crops fail or cattle die, which can lead to famine. And then finally, these dry conditions are perfect for the outbreaks of fire. Frequency of drought. Uh, most regions of the world experience drought every year. Globally, the frequency of drought has varied, um, but the severity of drought has increased over about the last 70 years. Some NASA scientists have suggested that drought could become more frequent in the future. 
Here is a summary of what I've just gone through about tropical storms in case you want to pause the screen and use it for revision. And here is a summary of drought um, for similar reasons.